And here we Alrighty, welcome into another Squad Ops One Life operation. Tonight we have Cobweb. Uh, Cobweb is funny, and it is funny, uh, and it's also not funny. Um, there's a lot of randomness that goes on in this operation because it's basically run by the event admins. And uh, they're going to be basically pointing these guys at each other. Depends on what unfolds as to what happens next. So there's really a lot of uh, randomness that goes on here. But I will attempt to uh, give you guys an uh, overview of the operation before it really starts. Um, oh shoot, I should probably... Actually, you know what, that probably won't show up. Uh, we're going to roll into it. Cobweb is a engagement operation based on U.S. and Russian starting points, which you can see here. Any of these grids are good to go. They can start anywhere here. But before live, uh, these teams are also given their first um, mission sort of movement point. And each team will be securing up to six of these points. At the end, uh, one team may be given orders to establish a uh, FOB and defend that position. It's kind of, we won't have all the details because we'll only be listening to US for both rounds. Uh, but generally the teams are basically balanced. Um, looking at Russia team, one SL, two FTLs, two medics, two engineers per squad. USMC is the US faction being used here. One SL, two FTLs, two medics, two engineers per squad. No off map support. Uh, once they hit the reinforced OP, if they're ordered to build it, they can build a FOB with various defensive structures, no camouflage. They have a small supply drop to do that with. USMC starting uh, India through November on the 12 file. Russia starting India through November on the five file, or so the five row, right? Because files are up and down, lines are side to side, right? Rose. So yeah, basically it's a big chessboard and you have to consider the part of Black Coast we're on. This is the eastern side of Black Coast where the, the, the west part of the AO is basically the, uh, the big inlet that runs straight up through the water inlet. So it's pretty contained. There's not a lot of map border sh hijinks that are going to go on for this, but there are going to be some points of interest that are going to be important to know about and I will show you a couple of them uh, as soon as I can get my map drawing tool out here so we're gonna go ahead and uh, roll into this and it is gonna be kind of skewed to one side just because you know the the zoom part of it here we go this is a little bit more center all right so well, if I want to see the whole thing, it's kind of, this is good. All right, so 12 is where USMC is going to start. Five is where Russia is going to start. So the real meeting of engagement is going to be somewhere around here. It's a six by six grid where basically contact is potentially happening. Um, the major ones are obviously going to be in the center. It's everything but the sub base, but the town, uh, the radio tower, and the uh, the broadcast stations to the south. So it's going to be the quarry, and it's going to be this other position, kind of like a quarry, but it's a little bit different. 
Um, you also have a little bit of elevation difference here. All of this runs into a nice little valley, these two connecting points. And there's a lot of high ground that surrounds this area. So like this is all high ground, this is all high ground pretty much. Um, so kind of, it, it's kind of like everything's being drilled into this area um, as far as contact being taken. Uh, we can see that maybe some teams have, have some information here. Uh, we're gonna go over, we're gonna follow US for both rounds. Round one looks like we have Bao, Fang Haven, Potato Salad under the command of Spasminos. With Russia, we have Londarts commanding Seneca, Sturman, and Alpha Guido. Players are already in the server. Got players joining in. Waiting for a uh, command, for a, a platoon brief to happen before we turn on the audio so much. It's usually how I roll here. I don't want to spoil anything that happens early. Uh, Russia has no vehicles to use, even though they have a vehicle up here. Big Lamal moment. But yeah. So let's take a look at some of the uh, map pointers pointed on map. Uh, we do have Mike 1092. And we'll look at the hill around here. Uh, could be good. This is definitely a higher elevation than a lot of stuff in the south. East is not going to really be a big thing. I imagine most of the contact for the for the map is going to really take place in these four grid, like this 4x4 four four grid area. Uh, but, you know, that all depends on what happens with how a team reacts to what's happening. That sounded dumb, but it is correct. Um, event admins are getting, usually trying to get teams to like maybe do three, maybe four maneuvers before they hit real contact. Um, I think the goal is like three before contact and then it becomes securing objectives for the sake of securing objectives. Once there's a certain threshold that the event admins will determine is, you know, the bad times, uh, one team will be ordered to defend, one team will have to attack. Usually the team defending has less players. Um, but if there's a lot more objectives completed by a team, uh, they may be in they may end up with the defense operation. So it's all a little, uh, all a little convoluted. It's not exactly clear. It's, it's what it is. Also, I don't know if you know, but I think my fan of my GPU is about to die. Either that or my cooling solution is not good. Um, I'm only streaming the game right now. And the hotspot temp is fluctuating between 76 and 70 degrees Celsius. So, 3K RPMs on the fan. Maybe I try to fix that real quick. I just go to, I do this. That's a little bit better. Uh, kind of have my C my GPU in a permanently overclocked state. Um, be part of the problem here. But my GPU temp is not hitting eighty degrees or anything north of eighty degrees, really. Um, so I think it's fine. Uh, everything seems stable. We got players in here now. Um, let's uh, turn on in gaming sound and see what we've got going on here. We're re invading. Section of addendum, declaration of independence. On the last section, it says back those stars. I'm being invaded. Something, something standard stuff. 
I think we're gonna try to play an operation next week. I was dropping that that sweet sweet intel. This looks like they are getting intel right now. Uh, we'll wait until the platoon briefs to get command comms. So we're gonna let them plan their first steps in without having to overanalyze it. But this is obviously a pre-planned step. So they do have three elements. They could always send an element here. Um, kind of like how Russia have their plans right now. Uh, I, I, I think it's a lot, but it's not overly complex to like throw an element with a given tasking and then have two elements start to secure positions behind them. All right, guys, stand by for platoon brief. All right, we're going to get a platoon brief here shortly. So we're going to listen in, see what... Is that a gun? Oh, God. Oh, God. I kill someone. Speckles, oh, he switched to his, uh... He, he left the squad to his other kid. Oh. What the hell? What is happening? Oh, he's good. He, died. he just touched yeah, him and he killed him. Yo, these he's guys are just dying. Otherwise, you die. Someone took uh, his gun out and just carried him to death. I would have expected this on Op 4, but on Blue 4, this is... This is a bad omen. Heavy drinking. Get this all. Are we the baddies? All that's left of him is his gun. <laughs> are we the baddies? His fucking gun. <laughs> Zero, two, nine. Alright, that's his issue. Might be some rearranging of squads going on. Yeah, that's kind of what's happening. Some rearranging of squads going on. Pretty standard, pretty standard. Once these guys spawn back in, we'll probably get them... If they killed themselves, they have to wait for a suicide timer. Actually, no, they don't, because we're in the mod of the game, so... They should just be able to spawn back. Yeah, here we go. All right, Spaz should have a briefing here in a second, or in a few in a, in a few moments here. Let's take a look at the map. Nothing painted for Nightmare. U.S. Nightmare, get your butt over here. Everybody's dying. Can you hear the briefing from here, Nightmare? Yes, I can hear the briefing from here. All right, extremely base that you're in this position. I proof. Nightmare. All right, gentlemen. Here we go. It's passed with the briefing. Focus up. Highcom has been fit to deem us with no information. Uh, they said that the Russians are invading. We don't like that the Russians are invading, so we counter invaded them. We're on Russian soil right now. Right off the coast of them. Um, looks like we need to be doing a patrol in this area right here. Hikam has designated our first patrol position to be M1095. I will be having my point squad potato secure that location first. Uh, behind potato will be foul. Take them to the middle and the main platoon composition. And after that, we'll be Fang Haven. We'll make sure that we don't just stab them. But from there, we will really go into Hikam that, hey, we need another order. Uh, we don't know what's going on here. And they will decide uh, to give us orders from there and we will let you know immediately what those orders are there is not much complicated happen with this mission but we need to get our game faces on and we need to have faith that highcom knows what they're doing because i promise you they don't any questions other than explosion any questions is that highcom dying oh yeah crap area is going down don't mind it it's whatever we'll get another one if there are no questions, form up. We are getting ready for the up. All right, guys, let's do it. Get sorted with your live in less than thirty Stand seconds. Back for live. All right, so pretty quick live call here. Uh, thirty seconds away. Uh, you heard Mike ten nine five. Oh, look at that! The live call was made by the other admin. All right, squad three, go ahead and uh, clear the clear those trees with your faces. We'll be right behind you. Bow enthusiastic. Ready for squad three to die so he can become tip of the spear, probably. Not so much. Squad one step off. There we go. So I guess they're gonna do squad by squad by squad in a line. And they're going to or in a, sorry, in a file, and they're gonna move up to Mike ten nine two or not Mike ten nine five. 
Russia, on the other hand, have a bit of a wider plan here, and I kind of like this. Londart's in command of Russia. Matter of fact, he's kind of on the tip of the spear for about a squad. He's rolling by himself, but he is rolling pretty strong here. He's got his guys, he's got his platoon in a wide line. And the big goal is he's going to be able to be able to react better. Because if you're in a line like this, you're going to be able to react to different positions. Maybe if you're going to really pincer in, you can draw a force in. Like say, if US is just going to move this way, you can draw them in, have a flat attacking for a defending force here, draw your other elements from other directions. It's kind of a big deal. Uh, it's smart for him to do that. Spaz going for speed here and pushing his whole platoon one squad behind the other isn't invalid, but if you're moving two grids off your starting position, you have to be thinking about next steps by the time you hit your objective. And the position where the objective is, which is kind of like this position here, this radio tower. Yeah, you can't have more than one element here. You have to have an another, you have to have the elements elsewhere, uh, elements elsewhere. Um, even if it's one squad offset to the east here in these woods, um, pushing up all the way to the road, maybe even having a squad holding back so like this position here in it in advance of moving across the open plus the road into this tree line here pushing towards some of the quarry position Go on, on the on the west side of the road here that sounds good someone is saying going the west side of the road i don't know what that means i'm assuming he's talking about this road here Which would be cool to see. Okay, cross at M11 then and head directly over and then go north. Let's get down on the ground with some of these guys. Got Rosa here, fire team lead oh, for Potato. Got Kuba all the way up here. Tip of the spear, literally, for the entire platoon. You can start to see Russian outlines in the distance. They have elevation, but it's very far. They might be able to see this happening. They're not going to be able to do anything about it. Even if they see it happening, it could be through literal branches of those trees. Nothing effective going on here, but Russia is moving down as about as fast as West moving north. So, I think the big thing here is Alpha has his squad on a line. He's got his fire team split up. One on one side of the mountain, one on the other. He's basically splitting the top of the mountain. Squad three for Russia, Sturban putting them in a great position to start pushing south in to dominating the center part of the map here. Squad two, Seneca in a really great position to start getting eyes on the quarry. Like command to command. Go for command. Your next patrol objective is Kilo 9-3. Can you put down a reinforcement mark there? Is that allowed? Kilo 9-3, the next objective for U.S. Awesome, thank you. And there you go. All right, lads, brief your team. We are moving, and we're going to cut across straight from, uh, from the... Squad 2 already in a great one, uh, position to really get there first. Take the north side of the M10, M9 divide, and I want Squad 3 to take the south side. Shots. 
copy. Those are Russian shots. They're on target. Understood. The Russians see these guys. They're putting bullets. Squad 2, creep towards the patrol point. Squad 3, creep north. Alright, so... We heard here, 2 is going to the patrol point, 3 going north. Bad copy on previous orders. Uh... I don't think he gave orders to one. Head north to the M10 and M9 grid divide, and then start heading direct to the patrol point. Three, start pushing across. You'll be taking the north of that point. Uh oh, three's pushing the exact wrong direction. Man, the approximate grid for that contact was Lima 7. It's super far out. And here we have a problem. There's a squad for U.S. heading the direct opposite way. Uh, the M10, M9 divide and start heading northwest. Uh, command, this is one. Uh, to confirm your intent is to... Russians are right here. Gliffy has a shot on Rosa as soon as Rosa peeks her head around this rock. Outside of the M10, M9 divide, to cross into four. Gliffy behind a rock, or behind a tree, though. They are just heading up here really, really aimless, or really recklessly. Shots fired. Rosa goes immediately to the ground. Shots returned on Gliffy. Rosa in hard contact has to crawl back. And there you go. That's the best, the first contact report of actual consequence. That is a grenade hitting a tree. Rosa throwing smokes point blank to try to cover, make her, make sure she can get out of there. Rosa gets enough cover there. She throws another one up. She's throwing all the smoke in front of her because she knows that her entire element is exposed to this fire. Are you, are you clear to Top of that, looks like we got some smoke grenades up here covering Gliffy. Gliffy can't shoot anymore. He's looking for uh, shots through this. the smoke. He ain't gonna find any. Understood. Move to my position. Unless... Uh, that auto. We should fucking run away, to be honest. We should run away south. Rosa has the right idea here. Man, we're pulling back south. This is a meme. <laughs> if we'd fucking walked into the open there, Speckles, we would have all died. That would have been a very not, bad fucking I'm messing, thing. I'm messing with you. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> we would have all fucking died. That would have been really shitty. Facts. Cause yeah. Straight oh, facts from Rosa. Rosa shot in the leg as she runs back. Incoming, incoming, fucking hell. When I build it, we just gotta DFP. go. We just, we just gotta go. Oh boy. Rosa crawling and bandaging. Speckles also hit here. Potato trying to get Koopa back here. Potato is the leader for this element. I can't shoot at anybody. I'm sorry, Koopa. Commander's orders. Koopa can't shoot anyone. He's mad. Honestly, correct. Yep. Can Meanwhile, it does look like Russia are gonna get to the U.S.'s next patrol point first. Rounds land you really close yeah, to this element over here. The front line. Recommend you pull south. Jackals, I'm gonna need heals, I'm, I'm pretty fucked up. We're clear. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna roll all the way over here to see what Bao and the other squad are doing. Sorry, Bao and uh, Fanghaven squad. Covering far on to that. That's crazy. While we cross. Yeah. yeah we kinda, I don't know why we I actually said uh, on top. Copy. I'll try. I have to split my. No one's died yet. So it's a little bit of weird. Yeah. I guess whoever said squad three's down to six can't count. There's seven people in squad three. Three did fall back, and looks like rounds are still coming this direction. Command, we don't have any sight lines to the northern contact. Understood. Contact someone north of one. Speckles got a kill on Captain Morgan. What a shot from Speckles. God. That's rough. That's rough for Morgan. Speckles got Morgan from 
at least 250 meters. That sucks. Hey, come here. What do you want us doing here? Bow in squad one. Russia are really spread out here. Recommend looking, looking. It looked like Russia were going to get to this position first. Maybe not. Guys. See him. I see. I have contact zero. Sounds good. Yes. Head south to my position here, and then we're going to cross. Hold your position if you Contact like Lima 6, Lima 964 on the rock just past the hangar. Yeah, we're engaging in the yeah. moving. Lima nine Bow has eyes on Wolfie and company. Gators and Ver is it Verhura. It is. Lima 964 just past the Wolfie hangar. is going to stay back to maybe try to sneak a couple of rounds that direction, but don't look like he can because he can't see anything. He's going to throw a few rounds that way with full auto burst. He's going to run back. Thorn and Tibbs in an awful position right now, along with Duck. Command, this is one. But it looks like they're able to disengage and roll, because okay, three is on the other side of the three, mountain. Three, three. Be advised, contact to our northeast. They have eyes on us. Don't feel comfortable that is proceeding. Dead. Squad 2 moves to support squad 1 to assault. We're moving across. 2 has fallen back. Russia fa really fall fell back from this contact. Copy. Um, squad 1, we're going to be leaving your western security to you. Yeah, do you want to move uh, We got to keep eyes on that. That, uh, up there, Kilo 19, I think uh, U.S. feeling like they that's may that's be out positioned here might, might be explaining a little bit of the reticence to pushing west. Northwest. Said Fang. Fang. I meant Fang. Oh. Um, uh, I mean, Fang, we can, uh, uh, fall back, uh, we can do like a southwest or, uh, push, and, uh, go around the mountainside yeah, and have, the, have that advantage. South, yeah, like wrap around, get one, to the high south. ground. Yeah. yeah. So one is going to hold position. Two is going to maybe move a little bit. Three is going to shift all the way west here. That gives Russia a lot of time to do some maneuvering, some recomposition, getting their focus on what they're going to do next. Two looks like they moved to secure Kilo 7-1. That could be an objective. Let's go up there and take a look. Kilo 7-1 is just a... Basically, it's a over... It's an under-complicated roundabout. A little traffic triangle here. Some uh, okay, side so roads in the main road. The kilo 10 or... Yes. We're going to go underneath the point and then assault from the south. Huge complications here. As U.S. taking their time to move a rear element forward while everyone else stays still. That means that Russia are going to have all the time in the world to do what they need to do. Squad 2 moving into the J file here. What are they trying to do? Let me see if I can get some answers on what Russia's current objective is. Thank you. Command one, have they sort of securing or fortifying that position? Oh, okay, cool. Uh, unknown at this time, last contact was spotted. Elite. I got some further information about Rus what Russia's going to do here. To spawn back in. Um, looking at, they're going to the old barracks, which is somewhere up here. It's going to take Russia a little bit of time. Russia's only sending one squad to do it. It looks like the intent is for Russia to do Bravo, hold there, then look north. is to rush for Russia to move south and then wrap around. So we'll see what happens. Uh, that might change. I might not have gotten the exact information for you, but that's what Russia's going to do. Three moving way west here of their objective point. 
going AFK for one second. Hold on. Speckles AFK in the middle of the round. It's time Copy. to meme. Not that it's really going to matter. Three is just going to hold West security here. It looks like Bow is probably the best position to move in. No contact for a high minute. He's got major security here. I think if Spaz gives him, if Spaz gives him the order to roll out, I think he'll take it. Meanwhile, Squad Two, holding not really the high ground, but his high relative south side of the map here on Black Coast, and only one casualty. Executing move to take Kilo Nine Three Three. And it's been Morgan. <laughs> well, how unfortunate. Stood. Then three from a platoon white line going I don't think east to west. Right north. Right now. One. Yeah, I agree. Looks like Gao's is leading a fire team towards the objective. Behind us where three was, or I think they pushed far west. I don't, I don't know. They could, they could be just north of us, like 300 meters north of us right now. So yeah, three three potatoes, start heading could, could be like Charles is off by almost an order of magnitude here, but he has the right idea. We'll see. Take it slow once we get the height. I don't want to fall back, like fall right on top of him. Gal's pushing I here gives one in the re his other fire team position to the real. Strength and confidence to move into Kilo 9 3. Alright. You guys have North not completed his objective yet. Should ready to movement. Back to Potato Salad and the group that made the longest flank ever. They're into it now. They're probably going to hit contact. Honestly. Uh, I think they're the most likely to hit contact. For whatever reason, there's only four people here for Squad 3? No recorded kills on Russia. Fucking terrible turn. My command to command. Go command. Have you secured Kilo 9-3? I think the other Squad 3 folks are here. Boots will secure immediately. <laughs> moving on. Moving on Kilo 9-3-3 right now. Well, I was gonna call that move now. North through these trees. I think this was Squad 3's people here. Yeah, so Squad 3 has a fire team up here. Rosa, you want to keep pushing your guys up north from here? And we covered uh, the eastern side from there? Yeah. Careful. So Squad 1's team that's over here is going to cover Squad 1's Charlie and Squad Lead to move into the objective. 3 Bravo is actually all the way over here. Look at this Russian group. This is for Charlie here. They push way far south, and this is a smart position to take. Um, this is mainly an information gathering scheme. The dirt in Kilo 933 and has not died. Squad one. That is said. High command. Command. High command. Go for it. Your next patrol objective is Kilo 86. Oh boy. So now all of US are moving to here. Kilo 86. Uh, let's take a look at that real quick. Kilo 86 is a uh, shit show. But it does have this building. Live is not available. Kilo 86 is your objective earlier. That is true. Admin did do that earlier. Understood. Squad 1, head direct to secure the position. Squad 3, head direct north to secure the west flank. Shots. Wilco, Wilco. Could have been the west side somewhere. All of Russia operating on this west angle here. U.S. are going to have a lot of potential to move here. Squad 2 not moving yet. This needs to happen. 2 is going to be way behind any of this contact. 
Three is also really cut up here. This is Squad Three's Charlie team. This is Squad Three's Bravo team. Squad one to come in. Two needs to move to provide some sort of support. Uh, will Squad One be receiving Nine, support on the east? Four, or should we maintain four? our own eastern security? Yeah. This is Bao Squad telling. Is currently moving up. Oh, I don't see him anymore. This is Bao telling Spaz to move Squad Two north. Uh, we have not been spotted yet. Three calls this Charlie team from four for moving the rest of their element for Russia into position. Can I shoot him? Or thoughts? Poopa wants to shoot someone. Kilo eight three. Understood. Oh man. It is kind of funny. I'm not going to say what I see, but you guys can also see it too. Uh, big problem, Rosa just went over the hill here, and uh, Squad 3 moving their entire squad right in front of them. Squad 1 stepping off, moving north. Rosa hurt that contact. Call most likely in their squad net from their west. I don't know if they realize how much closer. I think they might see... Yeah, Rosa sees Duck now. Rosa just saw Duck move across. Rosa talking, most likely, to her squad lead, telling her, oh, telling them, oh, yeah, uh, big problem, West, big problem, West. Meanwhile, squad one gonna move in here unopposed. Squad two is way out of the fight here. Squad three is gonna have to fight the entire Russian platoon very shortly. Two two, uh, moving south. Oh, you think in a pretty good position here? Well, it was in a pretty good position until he went prone. Saya, medic in the front line here. Can't really see much. The entire Russian platoon is just over here on the west side now. Entire platoon, platoon, entire inside an entire map grid here, more or less. Very strong push here. Look at the way that Russia have organized this. The entire high ground here. This is going to be an Overwatch position. Three is probably the main assault group. You also have two as an auxiliary assault group here. Four is just going to hang until three moves through and two moves through. Four is probably going to hang here on this high ground the entire time. Three is calling it hard. Great calls from Potato to command. Efank falling back here. What is three doing? I wanted them to start heading north from where they were. And they started heading southeast or southwest. Like okay, I'm just saying the All contact right. to our west is trying to get around us. If we don't do anything about it, it's going to come up behind us. Okay, our objective is commands issue orders. That's it. You get information, you issue orders. What are, what are the orders? Two J nine four. All right, we got a little bit of problems J973 here. Nine seven three and cover the intersection. Three's Bravo team should start moving. They have the best possible position to really move up behind this element and cause Russia problems. I think Potato's a little reticent here to really commit. And I understand why. If Kuba is giving him the information that I think he is, and maybe Efank is also providing this as well, he's seen an entire squad to his north. Okay. Squad one is uh, securing Kilo eight five time now. We gotta go northeast. Squad two's fire team's way off here. Kilo eight six four is the objective. Copy Kilo eight six four. Squad one back on target here. Three is gonna move off the city, and they're gonna do it in a safe way. Props to Potato Salad for doing that at least. Shots fired from behind. Might have fired something at Efank there. He was kind of high, uh, skylining that top of that hill right there. But shots definitely came from Russian soldier there. Yo. Potato. 
Yes, I, I, like I don't want to be like I don't want to be rude. Like if you like see if like like if I'm being rude, I always I'm not trying to be. But like you have to let us know what to do in situations like that where it's like. Okay, you know I'm I've been talking to Command Comps, asking him what he wants us know, to do, and he's just not giving me a straight answer. But I I just I'm also like I'm just want you to live with I'm like I'm not trying to be rude or you know it's like I'm just asking. Yeah, I get that. Kuba not trying to be rude. Sometimes if commands being like that too, just make the fucking decision yourself and Yeah, I would just be fine. Because like here's like, the thing he too, like, if you see. if you make the call that he doesn't like, you can just blame it on somebody else, man. You can just say that like, oh they found us, whatever. You know what I mean? Like Guys, let's get across this road. Uh squad one has chain of command two oh one. What happens when your lower chain of command decides to act on it independently? I think body is on there so we can see what the next one is. Yeah, they need Kilo 8-6. It's, it's been secured, but it hasn't been occupied, which is why High Command for Blue 4 has not given them further info. Dick's Folk, and looks like this fire team with Gauss is going to move into secure. Russia. Let's go back over here to see the entire team. The entire team is now basically pushing through the city over down here. Squad 3 and Squad 2 are pushing through the city, which is really strong. 4 still holding their position. Looks like they may be even moving a bit further north now. So, this is really strong movement from Russia. Russia understanding what they need to do. Russia also understanding... What positions they have and what can really do. Your next patrol objective is Juliet 99. Nine. Funny story, they have that secure. What? Okay, high command position, Juliet 99 nine is secured. Next position. Your next position is India 99. Nine. Yep, there we go. Understood. Free hold position. One star heading direct west, and then we'll loop around from the north. They secure Kilo 86. They secure Juliet 99 by default because there's an element already there. Now they're going to move west. I mean, uh, we have enemy contacts Juliet 97. Go ahead, direct west. Three calling it in. This is the big push now. Russia occupied this land. It's only a squad. But they don't really know that yet. We're heading direct west and we're to, uh, to back up squad one. Rosa's looking west, but Speckles... Okay, Speckles is looking west now. Auto looking west now. Okay, okay. These guys all look in the right direction. Shots could be fired as soon as now. Bus is skylining. I'm moving east. And Rosa... Uh, making a... Uh, boulder. Making, so stupid. This is so ma fucking stupid. Making a comment there, realizing she was not in a great position. Speckles. At least Otto has cover. Speckles is just laying there. What's west of? Russia, kind of making the most moves in the south. North. I mean, you hold this position. You stay in this holding position? Okay. You hold this position, and you keep these guys moving this way. U.S. have to start moving west from the north. They have to start moving that way. Spaz sounds like he's playing on a cell phone. I don't know what his connection is like, but it's not good. If he's getting codec loss playing squad, <laughs> like, I don't know what that is, but it's something. Russia split their forces up again here, too. Look at this. Squad 2 moving north. Oh, my God, I'm going to have an aneurysm. They're going to get around us from the south. Usa. Rosa, breathe. Girl. She doesn't see bus crawling. She's looking this way. Rosa, I can't Rosa, I 
I got a guy, a guy to my west, I think. Is he behind that rock? Speckles see something. Speckles saw a bus driver. Yeah. You see him on that rock? Guy going north. I see the guy on the rock, and I see there's also another guy crawling through the fucking trench, too. Yeah, I see, I see that guy on the rock, that's the guy I called out initially. Team, uh, says the fucking... Juliet this is so... Watching north. Silly. This is so silly. How do they not see us? They just look their fucking brain dead. They're brain dead. Over there, they have brain rot. Well, I mean... Sheesh. Confirm, Juliet 9-7. It is, but I'm like walking around here on the hill with my binos yeah, out. And not getting they're spotted. Gonna be ready for like, they, 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 they're, they're, they're literally not looking this direction. Perry is the only one potentially looking this direction. And Perry has a bunch of trees between him and Rosa. Oh yeah, no, the second you tuck in with that first bite, you're gonna get your like their your fucking arms gonna get shot off and you're gonna be, need to be mashing Z. Squad two, start shifting more south. Get below squad three. Mm. Or at least uh, parallel to them. That's a huge call. Two to move down here, with one moving across the road. Could be huge. Two is holding strong here. Four also holding this position. They just. They're holding the same position. They just moved north a little bit. They were holding down here, and now they just moved north. Four is just. Literally the linchpin for everything. What is three doing? Oh no. I saw this one guy. Nine, Let's look at some other squad perspectives here. Here's squad one up here in the north. It's Bravo right there. Uh, Gals. Being a little paranoid here. I think one needs to be a bit more aggressive here. Speed is not there. And then our next approval point is Indian 99. That's exactly where Russia are occupying at this moment. I don't think that has sunk into Spanish Minos yet. You think building wire? Base Defank spending all of his barbed wire in his kit on this random position. He's making an X in the ground. Squad 2, if you uh, move the first off, you may run into an ambush. Uh, okay. Well, there's not really, not really much room for us. Three at least knows that there's rush potentially south of him, but like... I don't know, man. Uh, squad three, is there any possibility you could move a little bit north? Give us some room here. I believe I'm going to want squad three to start pushing direct west here. Squad uh -oh. two, a bit southwest. Try to see if you can cut off that, that element that's trailing to our south. It's still to squad three to move. Execute a distraction. Once, uh, once squad one needs to move. It only works if you guys do command orders to, to move west, but we're, we're, we're ready to execute a distraction. Russians may be moving here in the center line. Said, from where you are, squad three, and start squad two, start heading west. They've ordered. Spaz has ordered the squad three to move west and two to move west. Russia have established a fob. Okay. So the ultimate objective is going to be to destroy Russia's fob. Okay, copy. Squad one bounding. Russia are now in an infinitely most awesome position to win the entire round. Looks like some of these were found. Some of the sandbags were found out. Bullshit. Is it random fire? I suggest we go to this hill west of us. Uh oh. Really made a house. Through the open field. Can you can you double stack sandbags as NG? I'm I'm at sandbags and I don't think you yeah, can. Hold on. Yeah, I see that guy. 
Koopa has ammo. There's a fire like team. Per... Uh, just watching your every movement yeah, right now. Oh, no, no, 25%. Shots from Russia close. There's a fire fire team just watching your movements right now. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, oh that one close. That one close. Where? That's fine. We want that. Auto might have found Nine. Alpha <laughs> or Perry. Okay. Oh, imagine all four of us. Contact you at 987. Okay, okay, let me get more sandbags. Let me get more sandbags. I don't know. Look at this is an incredible pillbox here as everyone else starts firing. Southwest. Shots landing near Speckles. Rosa now joining in as well. Auto killed Guido. Squadly dead. He was skylining the other hill. We're trying to push west. Auto had line on that guy from a hot minute ago. Nah, they must see your sandbags, bro. They must see our sandbags is actually correct. Pop shots at him. Building oh, my fucking to house, dude. You hear that? The two flanks at me. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll try to. Um, probably their entire platoon down here. So we're going to be moving slow. Uh, Fang calling it the entire platoon is down here, right. which sounds correct. And look at what they're about to walk into. It's basically two squads v1. Oh, shoot. Look at this. This is Nightmare Medic. Perry N7 is right above him in this house. I think that's an airdrop for supplies. Uh, be advised, we just had a, looks like a supply drop just crossed overhead. Are we going to be walking to the reinforced OP? Yes. Uh, yeah, they're in time. They're, they're reinforcing Juliet 10-7. It's probably their entire platoon. Fanghaven calling it correctly. We have our attack. And that's all the information that Spaz needs to form a tactical plan here. And how much supply is that? That's 1,500 supply and ammo. Squad 3, are you able to open up on Juliet 9-7 and provide... Seneca got tagged there. Great shot from Nightmare. Tibbs gets Poyo, that's the first kill for Russia. Whiskey 26 here takes out Duck. Contact along the ditch line here. Broven takes out Thorn. Big problem for Sturban's squad here. Whiskey's fire team making some great moves. Getting those kills. And Bow is about to also run headlong into a squad leaderless squad. Shots up the hill here. Squad three, open up on the position that is directly south of squad one. Or oh, to right. I don't see, no Close, eyes. Close, 50 meters southwest, southwest is laying front. Okay. 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 US. Huh? Multiple what happened there? Southwest. Dude just teleported. Shots up the hill here, Russia fighting. Kuba just killed Perry. Right, brother, get ready to push. Look at a Redibus. Redibus up here, crawling up here, trying to find something to okay. shoot at here. To cover. Russia in a bad position. Looks like they may be falling back. Siang is way out of position, but in a safe spot. Southwest, southwest, Auto kills Raf okay, on top of the hill. Copy, I'm looking southwest. I'm gonna check a nade. Nading southwest, nading southwest. Gals throws a grenade. Grenade is not good enough. I think Siang just took a shot at Redibus here. I'm healing. He was south. Holding south. He was more south than southwest. Yeah, Siang took a shot at Redibus here. Wolfie takes out 2-6 here. Siang's grenade lands on the fire team lead. Gals is gone. I'm healing again. Redibus has to spend two bandages on himself there. He got shot and he got a grenade frag. He's got a medic bag though, so he's good. 
JKR spinning a bandage. He was right next to Sang when that grenade went off. Or right next to Gao's, rather, when that grenade went off. Russia, strong line here, but they're not winning these gunfights. They're still defensive, though. And that could be a lot in their favor. Hard to tell. I mean, enemy contacts uh, seem to stop shooting at us out of Juliet 9-7. Well, I think realizing that they're falling back, except for Siang, I think Siang thinks he's stuck. Your, uh, your intent for one. Understood. Please attempt to get your Bravo on that point. If you can move your Charlie. Siang crawling. Or direct west. Out of contact. Or vice versa. Great effort from Siang. Great moves from Siang. And this is an excellent attitude from him, trying to connect with the rest of his squad. Knowing that he's having problems, he's actually getting shot here. Alright, squad three advise when you're set, and then squad one will. Saying knows he's in defilade now from those shots trying to run. Looks like he might get himself out of here. US on his heels though. One in three, two squads together pushing southwest. Making the moves. Yeah, squad one, we're going to be. That just says where we're going to be. Two hasn't really taken any casualties, I don't think. I don't know if these numbers count. There's a lot of dead people on two. The fact that they're still in the squad means I think they're still in the game. Fang the SL. Hearing shots from his west southwest. I think there's Sturban firing on this position. Russians in a great position to, to find anything they can shoot at from this range and shoot at it. Fang behind this rock, though, so it's kind of rough to find a target behind a rock. Fang looking for this contact, though. In the north. Squad one slowly closing the door on anything to this lake. The terrain is not really favorable. We've taken longer to clear than we'd like. Okay. Covering you. Yeah. It just looked a little funny. Just one moment. My command, Indian 99 has been secured. What's the next point? Copy, you are assaulting enemy fob position, Juliet 10-7. Understood. Two, get in position to provide covering fire for one and three to assault. Uh, two is currently in contact with a squad to our south. Uh, we can provide a little bit of support, but we need you guys to come in first. No ARs. Understood. One and three then, get into position, so assault position and support too. No ARs makes this a problem. Juliet 10-7, I assume the building and hangar. Juliet 10-7. Let's take a look at the defensive position here. Some... A lot of sandbags went up here. And they are building sandbags inside buildings. Good copy, Juliet 10-7. We will... Squad 1 moving southwest to get eyes on Juliet 10-7. Squad 3, please... Double come. stacking this window. Bang takes out Sturban. SL kills SL. A huge loss in the south for Russia. In command is now Vihura. I think he's the only three uh, FTL that's left. After Vihura goes down, that's the game for comps for that unit. Yeah, but her is the only FTL left. Are you able to cover our east side while we move? One is actually in an awesome position moving forward. Yeah. Koopa takes out Adukin. That's squad three getting to the fight here. Yeah. 
Do so, squad three. Nice smoke. Squad three, he's gonna unfavorable if we push strike south to get Asian security. But... Siang is looking this direction. Fob the Builder is potentially able to also reinforce this. Saya <laughs> just shot the entire magazine and went to click. So he has to reload. Shots coming this direction. Kuba has the right idea. They're in a bad position. They should just chill until more people get here. Speaking of more people getting here, Squad 2 is sending the Bravo element into contact. Here comes Cuckoo Main with Nightmare. Finding some decent angle to move up here. Saiyan takes out Saya. Bad news for Kuba. Nightmare and Cuckoo Main are running up here in this defilade. Southwest, enter the town on the west I don't side. think they're ready for this building to building fighting that's about to happen to them. The road to the objective. I do like that, so you can use the buildings as an initial cover to move forward. Copy, we're gonna go ahead and execute. Uh, squad 3 can let us know if anything moves. Can we send it? Because that the yellow building kind of gives us some, right, hell yeah. uh, some cover. I'm going. They're gonna send it across the road here. The most important move for U.S. at this point in the operation. JKR, Dix folks, fire team, running across here. And they make it across. Contact's not that far away here. Redibus on the outside. No one's looking this direction for Russia. They're all trained north here. Luffy might look this direction here shortly, but Redibus is also not looking this direction. Luffy now looking west. Maxwell takes out Efank. Bob the Builder takes out that auto. Go on the left side. Squad 3 getting whittled down here as Siang and Fob continue holding the front line in a strong manner. Eight kills for U.S. Six to Russia. This uh, the gray building's right here. Copy Alpha. Like they won't, they they won't see us, but uh, getting around. Here might be they sure. won't see us, but Gliffy is looking this direction now. Gliffy takes out Redibus. He's close. Here comes Bus. Sailor moving this way to, as well. Position to our east. Bus is a killer position under this bridge. If they push that bridge, smoke coming out, Sailor's going to move right into that. I don't know what that was, but that's something. JKR posting up to this corner of the building here. Elevation change in this hill make it a lot safer for US to move that entire squad through. That's what Bow's going to have happen. Russia getting slowly encircled here. Two with Fenghaven, and meanwhile, just playing with their food down here, southwest of them, drawing them off the problem or off the uh, defense of their objective. Squad three, we got contacts potentially oh. flanking behind us. Look at Lawn. Lawn is rolling with Perry. Squad three, are they on our hill behind us? Uh, I don't think so. We haven't had any contacts. We had some contact to our direct southwest in India. Grab eyes three. It... Get eyes three west then. Oh no. Three's being tasked to look west? There's no one west. Lon and Perry could cause some major problems here. stacking up what will they do Russia actually kind of reinforcing here they sent yes good one there's nothing on this hill with us that's sailor reinforcing Gliffy 
Good copy, three. Two, try to get to the rest of your people on your Bravo team there. Try to see if you can sneak all of them onto that building. If that, that entire area there is clear. Yeah. Contact Grand Building We're South. Clearing our south and then moving in. So, Contact gray building south of one. What does that mean? Does that mean this? Maybe Lon and Perry are holding this structure. This is kind of a great position if they fold this. I don't know what that question was. Wait, who is this? That contact was from direct east. Oh, this is Fanghaven. Fanghaven taking some Nothing. shots here. Wolfie gets winged. Nothing. Disappear us. Oh no. Cyangil's another one that speckles down in the north. Oh, look so at three, Fanghaven. Look south. I believe they're on the bridge right there. The bridge is the right call to make. He is under the bridge. Three is three down to like. Kuba puts two shots into Saiyang. Saiyang has to crawl away. Groven takes out Tibbs. Command just asked a three-person element to assault a bridge holding, with five people holding that position. Kind of rough. Oh, here we go. Rosa, <laughs> Rosa's going to assault this. Grenade throw from Rosa towards the bridge. I think Gliffy just heard some movement. Gliffy heard Rosa run past. Potato salad doesn't get the drop on Gliffy. Saiyang takes out Kuba. Kuba, Saiyang just holding that reverse slope defense. Kuba just ran over the threshold and just got destroyed. Huge hole. For One, US two, now. Guys with me. It literally. Oh shit, I just realized I'm a fucking squad lead. Okay. What was that? Bow's dead. Get your other two guys, JKR and Nick's Hulk, on top of me. Have them cross out. Alright, I'm sending them your way. Gamma T now in charge of one. Bow died somehow and I missed it. Guys, I'm... No, 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 no. Kati takes out Moon Wolfie down in the south. That's because it looks like two made a move to inside to try to get closer to the objective. Moon Wolfie goes down. Gator says to bandage here. Liffy takes out JKR. Big rough loss here for US. Looming in the horizon. Kati. Spaz, we got contacts in India 1043. Do you want us to maneuver? On that. Wait for me. Kind of hard to see what's going on here. Smokey thinking about moving towards Gators. To the northwest. Meanwhile, Cuckoo Bane and Nightmare just been chilling up. <laughs> Back the window. Looks like they may have been taking some shots. These guys moved a little bit. Russia also moving to these windows. Potato salad DCs. Three's been wiped. Unfortunate. Indeed. Seneca just oh, looking through this window. Clustered ass pack. That's why they keep getting mowed down. Because they, they only have to look at one spot is. and get fucked up. Nightmare also speaking truth. Who main middle here? Sort of crawling to try to figure out what he wants to do next. Kati takes out Fuhura. Just one person left here and his gators causing problems for squad two in the south. Two nine three. Fang might have seen him. Fang takes out gators. Dead. All of Russia are now on the point, but I don't think it favors US anymore. Thirteen to thirteen here. 
even on kills. Spread a little bit south, and then we need to start moving back to uh, assault. Everyone's dead. Great breakdown from Fanghaven there. Mind you, Fanghaven did that with a fire team in the south. Humane and Nightmare are the remainders of this other fire team that's only been up here in the north the entire time. Oh no. Command has all of the remainder of Squad 1 hunkered in a building. Uh, let's say, uh, aside from Dick's Folk. To go grab our precious I'm good. I can do it. Jackal, Archer, alright, y'all go. And everybody oh, else what? cover them. Best Roger, on it. From the windows. Yeah, someone watch south, please. Alright. Dick's Folk's move moving the, towards uh, the, the, uh, that building right here Roger. in front of us. Jackal's smart move here wants to move a bit further west. Shouldn't be spotted. Nightmare takes out Alto with a grenade throw. Uh, Alto was moving between buildings. Gamma, are you guys able to move east? We're attempting to get all our guys south. Enemy point is Juliet. Confirmed. Seven. Confirmed dead. I'm watching them jump uh, up. Contact to the northwest. Oh, they missed me. I assume that's the big factory building. Who man under fire? Who man getting building. actually shot at that's by Liptron? Corner building southwest. Left. Shoot him. Copy. Alright, we'll go. Lon and Perry about to receive the entirety of the team in front of them. I don't know if they're going to be able to see that. Lon is only looking through the window. Hold, hold, hold. Perry moves up to the window. Guy front, window, front. Gamma saw him. Took a shot. Missed. Yeah, let's get in this building, guys. Get aggressive. Cross, 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 cross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get into this fucking grenade. building. Grenade. You're here. Can you wait, wait. Right. Which window? Which window? Lawn threw a grenade out. Uh, I don't know. One of them. Lawn takes out Archer. Fuck. Got, he got a grenade. I oh, wait. I've TT. I've TT. Wait, wait, wait. I have an anti-personnel mine. Hang on. Oh, fucking yeah. Let's do it. Um, will this kill Put someone it. on the third floor? I... That's direct east sure. of your head. Can can Fuck, I put this? Guys. Can I can I put this um on the you first can, you floor? Cannot, you, can, or... you cannot place mines. We cannot place mines. I hear him on the stairs. I hear him on the stairs. All right, Dix, you wanna you wanna do this? Perry takes out thermal. Uh, not Me really, because I feel like he has defensive well, advantage. But I have a grenade. Well, I don't think we have a choice. Oh, I know I don't. Shit. Uh, I have a grenade. Kind of have to, um. Here, here uh, try to. Londar's shooting down the yeah, stair. Waiting at the um, just be careful. It's fast thinking about walking in here as well. Careful, careful! Don't step any place. Oh, so okay. Alright, maybe we should try a different up, stairwell. There's another stairwell we could try. No, no, it doesn't connect. It is like a one. Oh, it doesn't. Park. Okay. Okay. Just right, take it slow. Stairs. Spaz takes out Lawn Darts. Command kills yep. command. Nice. Pushing. Wait, here another? I don't, I don't know. Liptron getting a couple kills west side. Or east side, rather. He's dead. Smokey and Bob Joe go down. I just saw his muzzle. They mount the grenades to get ready to this. fucking get out. Perry is up here still. Perry looks like. Pushing up. Hang can't on, do anything. Hang on. Hang on. He's just gonna go prone. Uh, grenade, throw it right in this room. Did someone throw yeah, a grenade? Hold up to the uh, south door. I got a grenade. Okay. If you have a grenade, throw it in. Oh my gosh! Don't fail that. Up there. Oh fuck! Push, push, push! Fuck it! Max will just TK Liptron. Fuck you, assholes! Oh, there's multiple rooms. I hate this, bro. I, had this I got one grenade. I got one grenade. I'm backing up. Give you guys yep. some space. Throw, throw into the far one. 
All right, grenade out. He threw a grenade in there. Oh, he just died. What? Perry takes out command. Perry takes out the squad leader. Dix must know where this guy is. Can he win a peak fight? Fang takes out Maxwell off camera here. The Dix folk against Perry. Perry reloaded. Perry reloaded faster than Dix Cole. They have demo charge on the radio. What? The radio is on bleed. Okay, the radio is on bleed. What happened to Russia's defense? Alzadi just chilling in the building, acting like nothing is happening. Meanwhile, I was definitely focused on that fight because it was a huge fight, but. Could I get a clarification on what we're supposed to be doing here? Hello? Nice job. Defend the enemy radio position. Good cover. U.S. don't have the men for this, but uh, they have the position. Russia need to fight for th to secure this radio. They have so many people around here. Look at Nightmare. He's about to be walked up on from behind. Nightmare and Cuckoo Main. I'm going over this wall. I'm going to cover the left side. Copy. Oh, fuck. Wrong wall. God damn it. Back up behind you. No, what the other the side? side? I don't know what the right side yeah. is. There's a bunch of uncleared area north. north Alzadi north. wakes up and realizes his radio's fucking dead. Groven, with the kill on the radio, confirmed. U.S. are now defending the position against Russia. Alzadi is just sitting right here. Taking shots at someone. Kati wakes up, realizes Alzadi is above. Humain takes some shots that direction. Frog realizes I may not be in the best position here. Shot. Frog in the best position to actually have taken out Alzani. I don't know what's going on anymore. U.S. in a bad pro bad position here. It looks like s five remain. Six remain for U.S. For whatever reason, Jackal24 is all the way down here by himself. So that's a problem. All of Russia are running back to the... Defense point. Frog yeah, takes yeah. off Fang. Back over the wall. Fuck. Yep. Bus is literally right here next to Groven. Probably calling out that he hears Groven above him. Siang. For a fence and a bunch of foliage. Command net. Alright. Who main now on command net? What else here? Satchel. Kati takes out Sailor. Gives Perry a little bit of pause. I guess a Satchel got thrown into the main structure here. Nightmare takes out Bus. A bunch of MGs. Brock takes out Kati. The trades are happening left, right, and center here. Groven goes down to Frog as well. Frog snuck out onto this uh, stairwell here. Big problems. Jackal, it's down to three US to hold this position. Nightmare going to take a long flank around. Kukumane has to focus on Frog here, I think. You know, I might have pushed up too far. What is Jackal doing? How far away is Jackal right now? Jackal's so far away. He needs to leg it hard. All of Russia are here to try to stop the U.S. Looks like we're down to five Russian. So 5v3. 
Jackal out of position, but closing fast. Nightmare on the long flank around using the defilade to try to sneak up and find another angle. Russians are starting to clear the grid where the radio was. This could mean U.S. have to push back in again. Frog, Fob now in relatively solid cover. Siang and Perry in the most risk, but they're slowly moving in. Nightmare doesn't see them. Jackal now in local, calling out. Gumain can't hear it. A little bit out of range. Jackal is yelling in local. Gumain takes out Azadi. That's one elevated position that's not going to be a problem Here anymore. You got a copy? Uh oh. Jackal runs into barbed wire. Fucking barbell. Jekyll. Jekyll, wake up! Jekyll takes a frog. Kugo main. That's a grenade. Kugo main. Fob is gonna jump this wall. Oh, gotcha. Ow. So maybe he shot me. Oh my god! Kugel main ran out of ammo. Bob ran out of ammo. They both switched to the knife. Kugel main makes the knife kill. Nightmare goes down to Siang. I think it's 1v2. Alright, uh... Oh my god! Harry and Siang are the last two alive for Russia. Kugamain has to carry this for US. Perry and Siang have a good idea of where Kugamain might have been. Oh, buddies. Kugamain. First shot, first kills on Siang. Perry falling back, go you know, back around the corner of the building. He goes inside the building. Might have to drop on Kugo Main from an elevation. It's a bad position for Kugo Main to be in. Thinks twice about it. Perry's on the corner now, or on the edge of the building, looking for a shot. Doesn't see him. Perry hears him. You can hear him. See him turning his angle there. He heard Kukumane make a move. One v one. Turn the cameras off so we just see what's going on here. Perry the red outline. Kukumane. Kind of hard to see now, but Perry the red outline that's moving here. You remain in our low ground here. Perry running through the build, moving through the building very slowly. I think Kuko Main just heard him. Perry just heard that as well. Perry going downstairs. Kuko Main heard that. Perry still inside the building, clearing the building. Trying to realize, trying to think of where he can come out at. The only exit from the first floor, I think, are these windows, and I think it's yeah, the front door of the building. Kugumain was smart. He tried to watch the front door, but he's also thinking about going upstairs here. Perry goes back upstairs. Kugumain is going to go upstairs. Perry running this way action. First shot. Oh, Kugo Main just I threw got, a grenade. God damn it. Just killed himself. Uh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Everyone that talked while they're dead is banned. Oh, buddy. Oh, boy. Okay, let's look at kills. Three for Kuka Main, four for Front Hand, three for Nightmare, three for Kati, other team, four for Siang, five for Cliffy, before GG's been called, four for Perry. It's true. You gotta save the boost till after GG, right? You'll notice. You Everyone that talked after death there is banned. Guaranteed. I'll be providing the clip to the event admins. It is what it be. Wild. Lurker. With the keck emote. That is correct. Alright, well, in, until round two starts getting uh, ready to go, we're going to take a break. We'll be back with more cobweb here on Squad Ops.
All right. A uh, little bit too long of a break there. Didn't realize what things were happening pretty quickly here, but things are happening pretty quickly. So we'll just roll back into... However, I'm going to be less concerned, I think, with... Londars is briefing for concerned. US. ...for an advantageous moment to pounce upon the enemy uh, and get aggressive with them early rather than waiting to the end of the round to, uh, to really kick things off. So just uh, be prepared this round to, uh, to get some more aggressive orders to actually uh, close in and destroy the enemy, given that we are the Marines. Any questions? All right, awesome source. Let's get ready for live. Uh, we need to start... Uh, actually, we can start here. We, in the 12 row somewhere. Not in the 11. Thanks while you're out of bounds. Spread out here along our line um, to make life easier for you to be stepping off. Copy that, command. Everyone in the church is out of bounds right now. B car. Squad 4 is literally breaking the rules. Great, uh, great work there, Perry. Is that the we're moving, we're moving! You, you, you made them pay a heavy toll for killing your commander. <laughs> yeah. yeah I've heard of them. My brother in Christ, you are outside of the rules. Creepers, creepers, you're the... Go back, to, go back south. If I, was I was trying to do it without dying. Okay. I saw a fellow in a white van from Bad Hill. You did. All right, we're gonna we're gonna yell at more people breaking the rules here. Uh, we're gonna continue yelling at people breaking the rules. All right, he's just trying to find the rest of his squad. That's fine. This oh, was that yeah. one. Maybe it's, maybe it's that one. Maybe Lima seven two four. I think it was because you were like right, right, probably like right over there, and you're you're so, seeing them. Yeah. Storm is playing it, playing this day running along the top of the ridge. Oh, line so there, I, I, I'm like, jeez. Sorry, but like, I'm just now back. My fucking dorm room got invaded. Oh, oh, it's fun. Now we're back. We're chilling. Good man. Good man. Did you fight them off. North? Yep. I we're patrolling north. Those dirty little Spaniards and Mexicans, man. <laughs> uh. Where I want you to be really mindful of is the terrain that Guido was on last round. Yep. Yeah, understood. So I may I may send you off in that direction, and you would be expecting yeah. contact either on that hill or trying to cross the road uh, on that 3 0 intersection. I'm putting the skull and crossbones on. Understood. Yeah. I'll oh, okay. Yeah, that terrain to the east near those two lakes. That it's like if we go ahead up straight north, that's no. Well, I I guess we know where uh, U.S.'s first point or Russia's first point is going to be this round. Seven, eight. It's about a so, so yeah. if you're going oh, up that way, marks for. Is that just like where we're moving it. after the fact, or where uh, someone's moving just after just, the fact? Yeah, I was just discussing with Seneca that you know, obviously contingent upon the extra patrol point, I would like to have a presence on that ridge if we can get one. Copy. So we missed the first part of that briefing because I wasn't paying attention. Uh, we're getting ready for round 2 live. Copy that. Should happen any second. There we go. Copy round that. 2 yeah. begins. U.S. moving. I guess the first point is going to be Julia 11-6. Which, you know, the gas station here, not a real factor. This early on in the round. Uh, we did see Russia's point. Actually, it's 7 8. We'll see if the admins try to force him further east. ROEs is to kill enemies on site, correct? A firm. And to have a really nice looking formation while you're doing it. Roger that. Uh, if you don't look good while you're winning, uh, why even bother, right? With our formation. Yeah, that, that's just that that's just being correct. Platoon command for HQ, first waypoint, Juliet eleven six is clear. Your next waypoint to clear is India nine nine. Roger, India nine nine. It's a huge jump. India nine nine. India nine nine. 
can land for three and four, make as much progress as you can up to the uh, Kilo 9 row, then get spread out and get good security. Copy that, Command. Copy that, Command. I'm going to probably spread out a bit to the west and be in Kilo 9-4 and Juliet 9-9, so I won't be entirely in that route. That's good. I'll be taking the east side of Kilo 9. Strong communication here from Lawn Darts SSLs. Take a look north and see how what kind of progress there. Oh, they sent their whole platoon at the first objective. Okay, so similar situation could happen from round one, where Spaz basically sent his whole platoon at the first objective, and they sort of flowered off of that to a lot of different directions, like you know, something like that. I imagine their next patrol point is going to be like this, um, which could have some problems, uh, considering. Russia's next patrol point is here. Or sorry, US's first next patrol point is here. If Russia goes to like I don't know. Here. Pretty crazy. We get some intel on what Russia's patrol points are gonna be. All right, so we got a little bit of context here um, about where everything's going to happen. Um, I think the big plan is something going to be something like this. R U.S., Russia may be something like that. Uh, I don't want to give too many spoilers away, but I kind of know where they're intending everything to happen. I don't think it's gonna happen like that. If, if Russia continue moving like this, they're gonna meet the US front line at one of these two positions. Russia are moving all together as a platoon, which could be dangerous for US. because everything's focused everyone's moving in the same direction there's going to be enough protection here for this entire element that they can react to contact Russia meanwhile will have to or sorry US meanwhile will have to accept where they run into the Russians at Russia moving to Lima 7 right now U.S. objective is India 9, 9, but they're keeping a wide front here. See what the next objective is. Should be called out any minute now that uh, India 9, 9 is secure. Command, this is 2. We are in India 9, 9. Roger. Keep on uh, moving north. Straight up the India Juliet line. This is platoon command for HQ, yeah. control second waypoint. Good copy. Next patrol point is Kilo 86. Kilo 86, Roger. Guido, do you copy that? Kilo 86. Kilo 86, copy. Big problem if they move direct. Copy, you copy last. Kilo 86, next patrol point. That is due copy north that. of you. If Kilo you can... 86. <laughs> If you can get in position where you've got Overwatch on it, four, if you can get out to the west of it and get eyeballs on it. I'm going to move with two about another Copy 300 command. meters north, and then we're going to move east on that. Big problems for US if they proceed direct. Given orders, where do you want me specifically? Currently I'm heading to secure the hill at Kilo 8-4. Perfect. 
Patrol objective is Kilo 86, but we want to make sure we got good eyes on it first, especially the hills out to the northeast where we came through uh, in a different uh, life. Copy. Lon knows exactly what he did around one. Yeah, Command, I'm going to try to see that train to our northeast along that ridge line. Lon knows exactly what he did and exactly how to protect against it. Meanwhile, looks like a fire team is just going to roll straight in here. If they get through the building, that's Kilo 86 secure. For her, a fire team lead with Gators and Moon Wolfie. They're just rolling in. Oh, they got redirected. Climb to glory right now. I, just, there's, I guess they're going to secure Lima 8-1, which makes a lot of sense. They might get shot at in the process. Bao has a squad of Russians in the north, and they're lagging behind. Yeah, we were to, like, uh, north northwest. Command is with them. If three's here, I think Lonor is a, fires team, a fire team to get in here. Basically, same thing. If not, if not from three, then from four. Two is going to continue rolling clockwise here. Where do you want me looking? Uh, south. Uh, south if you can. Um, Kilo eight six. Not great. Very cover. clear from my position. No, this kind of Just sucks actually. Out. All right, Roger. Just hold there until four gets in a position that is set, and then we'll decide who gets to walk out in the open there and patrol it. Good copy, Command. We will hold our position. Command for four, let me know when you're set. Overwatch on the uh, objective to your east. I think four gets to roll a fire team fourth. It makes most sense. Three's in a... Company. Command is two, you want us to hold here soon? Uh, keep on moving northeast. You're crossing uh, next little dirt path that crosses this main road about 150 meters north. Roger. We'll be crossing that dirt path soon. Good out. You got to watch. As good as we can, we don't really... We got too many trees between us and uh, the waypoint. As Close well. to secure. Might be best Are you in a better position to patrol? We might be, so long as three can cover our north. Alright, send a fire team down there. Three, hold what you got. Get good three. Four is going into uh, patrol. Four pushing across, uh, three pushing across here, trying to find a better position. Command, this is three. We have enemy contact 150 meters to our northeast, moving right to left. All right, fire on that. Immediately fire on that. Lima Make sure eight. you fall back a little bit. Heard. Fire on that. Moving fire. right to left, back across Four the road on top of the hill. They need to fire on this. We're going to start seeing some shots soon. This is the first engagement of the round. Game of T in a bad position here. Enemy contact, 150 meters, Lima 851. Roger, I don't hear shooting. Shoot, slow them down. I, we're moving with two to get them behind them. They gotta shoot. They can't just wait. They gotta start shooting. There's the shots. Duck fire team lead trying to. Shoot it, distract zero, them. Five, three. Russians returning fire. Ooh, some of those tracers running right by Duck. Duck is hitting the leg as he keeps controlling. I think he gets hit twice. Get hard cover, guys. Hard cover. Oh, fuck. That's going to stop Russia from moving. Smoke's being thrown by U.S. Russian gunfire, north of three, east of four. And then there's U.S. troops in Kilo 86. All right, thank you. Keep on pushing east, northeast. We'll get up on these guys. Command for HQ. Third waypoint has been... Guys, open up northeast. Further. Roger, next waypoint. Platoon line 
on it, north to south, and moving right, east to three. Cover, guys. Hard cover, guys. Hard cover. Make sure they don't get around us on your east. Fall southeast. back a little bit to the east if you need to. Great copy, command. We will hold them. We want them to hold get rocks. further past us. Great position for U.S. to be in. Right, four and two, we need to push basically east by about another 200 meters all the way up to the road to patrol this next uh, location. That was Lima 89. Uh, uh, got crazed. Wolfie got smacked. I'm coming to get use, you. Use uh, heal up. Wait, don't don't use yours, man. I got you. I got you. There come a time when I'm out here. Gators playing the smart medic. He's got a bunch of more bandages than everyone else does. I got him. I got him. Okay, I'm gonna put your anus back on. Contact You're good to go now. <laughs> <laughs> Gamma just TK'd come his own squad lead. Gamma just TK'd his own squad lead. Bow's out of the round. He's in contact. His element's in contact. He got TK'd. There's no way he's coming back in. Oh, no. I don't think they've crossed the road yet. They're on our side of the road. West side of the road. Lon has these guys dead to rights unless they can cross the road. They're coming down the mountain now. Jackal's making a run for it. Here comes Archer. JKR making a run for it. Here comes Redibus. Gauss gets dropped by Vogler. Thermal gets dropped by Alzadi. Dick's Folk is stuck here. Redibus crawling across, throwing smokes to help Dixfolk cross. Dixfolk is being covered. He gets smacked in the leg. Seneca, if you get your non element pushing north. Alpha Guido kills Jackal trying to provide covering fire. Hey, Holy crap, this has gone pear shaped for this Russian squad. Their squad lead is TK'd. Half the element yeah, dies be trying to fall back east. Right yeah, I'm looking Look at Archer and Gamma. They're really living on the edge here. Redibus makes it across the street into some rocks. Gamma falls back. Dick's folk in the middle of some smoke. Needs to stand up and run. He's gonna do that. Duck takes out Poyo Mahato. Redibus throws a smoke grenade at his right in front of him. Dick's folk running from smoke to smoke trying to get out of there. Dixful gets legged. He got hit three times, like twice at least there. JKR takes out Tibbs. I think this is like the first, that was the first kill for Russia this entire round. Command, it looks like they're all pulling out. We might have been a bit too slow. They're Roger. pulling ass east. JKR takes out Morgan. Morgan dies early again. Alright, uh, command, my brother element's with you right now. Roger, have a move with me. Hey, firm. I'm moving with you. Guido, I might go after the guys on the hill. If you can put a lot of pressure on the guys trying oh, to get sure, holding hill. this hill. We have an entire down. element that's out of pocket right now. The entire U.S. Contact platoon is just slowly closing in around them. I have enemy contact at Mike 896. Russia's are just holding. They have another element way off target that's holding. Let's get a lot of uh, they Russians might try and continue moving from that white smoke. Look at Raft. Raft is rolling in here. Uh, Lima 8-9 is secured. Roger, thank you. HQ, this is command. We have patrolled our fourth white point, awaiting further orders. Archer's stuck in the middle here, but Raft is looking for more targets. Archer's going to crawl back, trying to crawl back to friendly lines. Oh, he may think he's dead here. Just looking for something to shoot. Two, can you have your other element with you push basically uh, almost due south from where you are now? There is contact east. If Ref had a grenade and he knew these guys were right here, I think these guys would all be dead. Dix Folk, JKR, and Redibus are crawling in this brush trying to make it out here. That's not going to last them for the, very much longer. Can you just confirm? Enemy contacts, top of the ridge. 
Bliffy kills Gamma T. Still awaiting uh, next patrol point. And yeah, copy for Dick's Folk, Dredibus, and JKR now resign themselves to the fact that they are going to die. They're still crawling through this brush, though. Go ahead. From here. I'd rather make sure we, we mop up with Nightmare takes out Thorn. Three, two, and you're east. Archer takes out Raph. Copy that. Pretty close, north, northeast. Right. Bob calls it out. Duck takes out Nightmare. Holy crap! Literal close contact here. Three, you're gonna have to have south, southern security. Southwest of you. You need a We're taking you. Yeah, we're taking you. Dixful takes out Siang. Let's squeeze those guys. Yeah, Roger, Commander. We're Two needs to move south now. Spasmino's is gonna be on the front line of this contact here. Grenades coming up the hill, not going far enough. Fogler takes out Spasminos. Yep, that's command dead for Russia. Spasminos was skylining behind his element. Was caught out by it. Command, we're in a bad Google main looking back. To wrap around to either south of three or east of two. You have a provide fire support for me? Negative. Speckies takes out, Speckles takes out Duck. Copy. And four with a light element here being told to reinforce squad three, which is probably the right call given three is about to be surrounded. Element from the south is now split its fired one of its fire teams off and it's trying to reinforce squad three here. Yep. Meanwhile, in the north, Frog takes out Kugel Main. Whiskey two sixer takes out Mo Moon Wolfie here. Sturban. Exactly Fang are. takes out Frog. You now. They are to my east up the hill, about 50 meters, Roger. and to my southeast, about 100 meters. Gators goes down. Right, we're in amongst them here. Let's clear them out. Sturban goes down to Auto. Yeah, Great nice shots from Auto. Seneca takes out Fang Haven in the north. Four should be coming to your assistance. Three's Please. dead. Please. It's just Vahura left for three. Alright, three's reporting in. Uh, we are one effective, like literally just me. They're all to my south and east along the ridge line. They're coming around south. Alright, right. Mike 862's uh, enemy contacts, we're pushing them now. Alright, Roger. I'm folding in. Kati is stuck here. Roger. Bob, jo Kati just throws a grenade. Guys, don't let him get away. Grenade lands right in front of Seneca. Yep. Perry also gets hit by Frag by that. Kati in a bush. It's the same, right? There's still Russians up here with us anyway. If you can make sure that... Russia pulling ahead here and kills 10 to 9. That's it. adopt me. Copy that. We'll swing further south and try to cut that. Fuhura makes it back to friendlies, hey, though. You. Yeah, due east of you, go to the top of the ridge. Boy, real quick. Due east of you, top of the ridge. Uh, Copy. Uh, we're gonna. You want me to continue swinging around south, see if we can get around behind them? Yeah. At least cover. Yeah. Room. Copy. Move. Yeah. Cut them off. Big risk for Alpha Small yeah. Element here. Hey, firm. Appreciate it. Big rush for. A uh, big risk for Alpha Small Element here. Yeah, we're continuing our push to our Club. southwest, trying to clear these guys up. They're moving down the hill as of right now. Ferrero takes shots at Bob Joe. Bob Joe displaces a little bit. Katia is right here, waiting for someone to. Peek at this hill. Alzadi takes out Joe Violence. Bogler, I think, just threw a grenade. Whiskey Two Six are badly hurt by that. Goes down. Bob Joe goes down to Seneca. Squad Auto turns Oof. on Whiskey Two Six or takes him out. Conti takes out for her. Alto gets the trade. Auto pushing Sakura's position right now, but hearing a lot more shots from behind. Might be tempted to turn east. Yeah, Guido, booking it south. Seneca, first shot. Alt. That auto just turns and dumps. Four or five rounds into Seneca there. Auto has to reload. Or not reload, but bandage. And probably also reload. But he's a medic, so he can heal himself, so he's going to do that. Problems for US as they are fractured now. And look at this. 
Alpha's gone way too far south to be of any help. But Lon and the remainder of the U.S. element here might be able to slip past on the east. You should be saying Russians. Nope. Rosa's chasing. Hey, I'm not seeing anything right now. They're either still up on the hill or they've gotten past me or something. No I wouldn't have got past you. By the radio tower, so we're trying to secure that right now. Yeah, my southwest 200 meters was last contact heading south. Don't take them across the road. We should be able to. You go for it. Yep, let's do it. A bigger picture here. Russia now gets in behind, but U.S. are further south here. Perry runs back to catch up with Alto and Maxwell. Let me know when that's uh, patrol, Guido. Guido on objective, though. Hey, firm. Russia moving west here. It looks like. Mike looks like. Roger, hold on. Charlie shifted a bit further east. Was this the Actually, this is, good. Point no, this is, is good. This uh, is good. Okay. All right. Take up good. Take up defensive positions. If you are able so to set a third up deflate. a radio at the current position, Mike ten nine. Roger, heard. Guido, let's uh, let's get that set up. Uh, I'll do the supply drop once uh, two's guys uh, are back here, back across the road with you. Make sure you got good northern security. We've still got guys out to our northwest on the top of this ridge line, I think. There it is. U.S. are going to set up the radio this round. Guys down here, have them take up a position that's uh, going to be the east side of the radio. As Russia almost completely yeah. disengages, except for Rosa trying to chase the heels of Alpha's element. With Spaz dead, who's in charge? Rosa? I think Gauss is dead. So it's Rosa. Rosa's in charge of the entire element. Yep, Rosa's in charge of the entire team right now and she has no command comms. Alzadi, if you want to put with any other the element edge of fob radius just just to the southeast like that like basically covers the direction we've just come from what the baton death march was spaz thinking Cut. spaz was just too slow Joe. he was just too slow to react to everyone rolling his north he got dropped because he was skylining on the hill I have to try and gum across the open field but i suspect that uh honestly like try and go the whole way around right so should have been more aware that they were wrapping around north. I'm okay with that. Lon, my concern and even right before now, that... I, I recommend we don't spread it out too much. My concern is that whole firefight was us going against one You could squad. feel the encirclement? Yeah, that's kind of rough. Like... I feel like we probably have two full squads that are going to be pushing in on us from somewhere else. The, honestly, the development that from that the was uh, tremendous to see from U.S. Right. Was just looking for us. That must have been demoralizing, even though Russia, well, Russia were ahead for a long time there during that entire mess. Um, but U.S. made some kills here. They're slightly ahead, 14 to 13. But all of the leadership is gone from Russia. Uh, it's just Rosa. There are no other FTLs in charge aside from Speckles, which is... Now Rose is 2 IC. Didn't see the enemy, but could tell they split through I mean, I and they got on their east. South, yeah. And I can try to cover west, northwest. I'm going to just need my north covered. So if two can handle that. Over here, here comes the supply drop. Yeah. I... There's nine of us. Huh? Oh, there's the supply drop. If we can get like a, a full buddy team of two on this side of the road, I wait. Would there's only there. nine US. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, eight, no, nine. Just a buddy, buddy pair over there. I want. 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, ten v two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten v ten. I think the four and various build. Rosa smart enough to think the south is the play here, and I would have to agree with her. If Rosa gets to this position without being discovered, that's a huge win. I'm sending Max to you, Lip, and also heading north to secure force flank. All right, Roger. I've got. Uh... Couldn't tell. Well, I mean, like the big thing that happened was, like, US pushed basically this way, yeah, and then they had a line. You guys in Russia all pushed east. You had great positions over here. The problem was that when US turned, they were so far north, they had two elements pushing this way. The guys, they got stuck. So like when US turned this way, the guys that were stuck here with the trailers, they could not get free of this contact here. They decided to turn and engage. And then on top of that, you had a TK of an SL. And then on top of that, by the time I think any retreat was ordered, everyone was here and you had a whole squad way down here, like going south for no reason. We're finished here. And hard to say. Super encircled. This element lost half their guys. South right now, but longer this goes. The Alpha with the prescience. Saying they would push from the south. All to the northwest, so I think south makes the most sense. South does make the most sense. I'm probably gonna intentionally leave the northwest open because I doubt they're gonna do a push from the northwest. We're gonna see some contacts here shortly. Can you see if anything crosses that road to your, your northwest? You got good Isma, vision. you're welcome. That's what I'm here for. A firm, great vision. All right, sweet. All right, cool. Yeah, stack stack the south as much as you want. Gliffy, within 100 meters of contact here, as a medic. Maybe he thinks he'll get some kills. Not really supported. Where's Fob? What is Fob doing? Contact south southeast, 50 meters down the hill. Gliffy calls it out. Right. Let's get spread out to meet them. West the road, or? Drops Rosa. Southeast, right. southeast. Cancel that. I hear him. Everyone goes to line. Cliffy shooting towards Speckles. Sai, I gotta throw a grenade. That could be the going the distance here. Lands right in front of Cliffy. Fob doesn't know yet, but he's about to be flanked by his on his right. Cliffy medic. He can sit behind the tree, bandage, and heal himself back all day without being real problems US now aligning most of their defense to the south here 10 v 9 GL's going out yeah low okay. painting Gliffy's position with a GL uh, not really He's the like last the... FTL <laughs> speckles now in charge of the whole platoon yeah. for Russia now there's no eyes to this southwest here, and that's going to be a big problem. Oh, Alpha just saw it. Archer takes out Gliffy with a grenade. Lands right on him. Fob by himself now. He's got to fall back. He's going to fall back to this little hill here. Might find some shots on Redibus. It's looking. No. Nope. He decides no. He falls back here, you make yeah, it shot at. I've lost one. We're gonna hold a tighter defense. Alright, Roger. Alright, two, we're just gonna lie and wait here, watch the high reach line. Shot towards Ba uh Fob the Builder here. JKR firing. Fob forces JKR to go prone. And you heard that US are gonna hold back here. Look at that auto. Basically rolling by himself here. A little exposed, but could cause major problems. 
parry even from this position, actually adding a little bit of fire here. Actually, Officer, someone tagged Redibus. Dealing with at least a squad with an element on the east, element on the west. There's two guys to my southwest, I think. Someone firing the GL. And Lawn darts. And there's a couple where you fell back from. Knows where Speckles is at, based on a GL fire for that smoke marker. Auto is pushing up here way far by himself. Possible, but I think we have good eyes. Let me double check. Because I'm not seeing anyone coming this way. If he had a buddy with him, this would be good, but it's not. So I imagine he's going to get a talking to after this. Perry's looking this direction, though. Auto is continuing to flank around by himself. I'm getting re engaged from my southwest. Hey, Auto. Auto. Okay, copy. Don't, don't push by yourself, please. You're long wall field. If you can't link up with the nearest team. Yeah, auto. Pull back to your friendly. And I think the admins just talked in all talk there. I think Perry's going to shoot Auto in the back here as he runs. Perry switches to gun. Yep. Yeah, that was... From you? That could have been handled better. That could have been handled and addressed a lot better. Fob the Builder kills Archer with a charge? <laughs> Wait, what? That sucks for Archer. He ran into a position that had a satchel on it. US 3610 versus 37. Rush is attacking with seven bodies left. Suppress it for you, Guido. They know we're on. Copy. I want to peek, but there's no good way to peek. So one of them rotating down near the uh, road. Copy, I'll try to hold that angle. Redibus takes off Perry. Hey, Alzadi, if you can have those, uh, your fucking Charlie team start to come in on me. They're coming on my west. Copy, sending them down. I was about to say wrong comms, but Alzadi is... They're, they're basically going to be west of bus. So I need them covering that. They're going to pull guys off the north completely okay, now. Copy that. They're going to get online with the rest of Alpha. To my southwest. West. West of the road. West of the road. Yep, gotcha. Thank you. So U.S. going to roll a line, something like this. Still with an element down here. Russia trying to he's like, poke and he's prod their way through. I, I can't peek him and I can't see him. It honestly sounds like he's more due west of you. Yeah, he's firing on... JKR takes a Liptron. That was close. Yeah, it was to the... about, what, 235? Perry and Alto being right next to each other is probably not a good move. JKR is definitely within a good grenade throwing range, but now while prone. Fuck, 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 fuckity, fuck, fuck, fuckity, fuck. C4. Alto knows he fucked up. Bust through C4. I might get blown Which up direction? by my own C4. Which direction? I threw it southwest. Red. I, I'm either going to blow myself up right now, or I don't know. I guess we're going to sit here and watch this. Oh. Well, it hit the road. I hate how close you throw that when you throw it. Yeah. It's heavy. <laughs> He's still right there. Didn't get him. Yep. Didn't get him. Fomp takes out Cheese. He was go. picking up the east. Right. Grenade. I'm, I'm gonna be done. I'm gonna be done. Oh, yeah. I'm not done. I'm Bus sure. survives a frag grenade, lands pretty near to him. 
You pull back and get your patch out. I can't get out of here, man. I'm... Yeah. Time to survive. Let's take a look. This Three, four, five, six, seven, eight versus two, four, five, six, seven. AV7. Rush have a strong line for me in here. He's right to my southwest, Medic. Don't try it. He's got me Yep, suppressed. yep, 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 yep. There's another one on the radio tower. Hey, if you toss a frag over my head south... It's directly I across the road. <laughs> I ain't got one. Uh, come in. Our frag! Yeah, okay. Some damage. Roger. Alzadi, mind you west, heading towards Guido. Push across the road now. Follow me. Copy. Let me know the status of the radio when you can. Radio took damage? Down to 76%. Wonder how. Also Roger. Radio. Commander 2 is pushing his contact to our west. My pause. If you can have your guys fire, that would be good. Just shoot some. Dix and Redibus pushing the west side here in this death light. Come here, come here, Perry. Two and JKR crawling along as well. Copy. If they only had grenades. Shots being traded. Lana's making a big push here. Southwest, Roger. Speckles got tagged. Alzadi yeah, throws a frag up the hill. Way. Almost hit friendlies. I think Lon took some shots at Speckles here. Man, I'm gonna fall back closer to the radio and help Roger. cover the west side. They're mostly west of the road now. Alright, Roger. Two, once this is clear, we cross the road west, then move north. Yeah. Oops, Saya stands up. Got himself spotted. Got himself killed. Alzadi's right here. Come down. Contact down on you. Yeah. Rebus takes out Alpha though. Yeah, I got him. I got him. I got him. I got him. Look at Smokey. What is this? Stand up and shoot one another. Smokey reloads. Alto chase out two on the hill. JKR right there as well. Smokey and Bus literally defilade from each other. Alto on the hill is crawling around. Just took out two men. Smokey gonna reposition, looking for more people to shoot. They're on the, the southwest of my tree, squad two. I, I took out two up there. Might be able to hit him with them from the back. Recommend we keep watching this crosswalk. JKR slowly crawling up. Secure the radio, guys. Friendly close. I saw he's just walking past. Oh, he's gonna get himself shot. Be dead then? Squad two. Maxwell gonna walk up here and maybe check. An JKR takes out Azadi from the other side. There goes Smokey. Oh no, he was alive. They Last man. Don't shoot me though. Bro, he was literally right next to you. Wait, chill, 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 chill. There's a guy north of you, Fabda. Two ways to command. What? You were made Do north. east to oh, command. Yeah, there yeah. there's a guy right next Lawn sees him. Oh, great. Okay. I'm pushing him. Big car gets dead, shot dead, from dead. three different directions. He's dead. Now he's dead. Is he dead now? JKR shot from four different directions. I think that's GG. Good yep. fucking job, guys. Woo! Good shit. Wild. Absolutely wild. Alright, let's take a look at the scoreboard here. Long with one, three kills Alzadi, three kills Alto, three kills Fob. JKR head four, Auto head four. Those are the those are the big kills there. Tony, thanks for the kind words. Whiskey, thanks for those kind words as well. Isma, thank you guys all for watching the stream. That's gonna do it for us some insanity there um for round two it was a great 
great effort from both teams. Law unable to pull out two wins. There you go. Uh, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back next week with more One Life events. Until then, we got some servers that can use some love. You guys want to play some GC? Uh, anything else? Vanilla Squad, we got those too. So come on down and hop on in. Also, apparently, we're running an Among Us pickup game. Okay. Uh, so join the Discord, discord.gg slash squadops if you're interested in anything like that. Until then, later.